Okay guys, today I have something a little bit different. I was inspired by a Pier 1 fall item. I'll put a picture up so you can see what I'm looking. What I did is I took the Pier 1 inspiration and I changed it to kind of a wintry Christmas one. So check this out. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to check the description box below because I'll have items that I use linked. All right, here we go guys. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and some organization, but all on a budget. Let's see what we're working on today. These Jenga blocks are really popular at the dollar store. They're a little bit smaller. They're like a miniature Jenga for kids, and so today we're going to make a really cool craft out of them. They have some that are all the same light color, and they have some that have dark and light mixed in together, but I want them all the same color. You'll need 48 blocks total. These come in a box of 36, and so you'll need two boxes. But you're not going to use all of them. You'll have some left over. I'm going to start by doing two, and I'm going to go up by four. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try my best not to get too much on because I don't want the glue to goop. And I'm going to press them as, as uh, evenly as possible so that they just meet and there's not a whole lot of overlapping or anything. So there's one part of what we're going to be doing. You're going to do two of these. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing I just did with these, only I'm going to do it four down and four up, so 16 total. And I'm going to do that twice. If you run into one that has writing, you can either skip it or just make sure it goes on the inside when we're um, a little bit more complete and ready to put it all together. So now you should have two of these with eight and two of these with 16. And we're going to go ahead and glue them together so we can make a right angle. So now we have our box. And honestly, all I'm gonna do for the bottom part is just use a piece of cardboard from an old shoe box. I'm gonna take this vase that I made outside. I made it to have kind of that mercury look. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting, I'm sorry. We have a cloudy day today, but I'm gonna take that and that's gonna be the center. And inside of that, I'm going to add one of these. This is from the Dollar Tree and it came with the pack of two. So I'm going to put it in this little stand and it can sit right inside. I'm gonna to need to grab some batteries, but it's going to end up just plugging into the bottom piece. And then that all fits just right inside. So in the end, I'll light it up so we can see it. But right now, I didn't remember to bring batteries with me, so we'll do that in a little bit. So I have this leftover um, piece of floral foam and I'm going to put a little piece on either side. I'm not going to make it real tight and then I'm going to put the vase right in the middle. And now we're just going to decorate with some Christmassy items. This is also from the Dollar Tree. I had it in one of my hauls but it has the pine cones and it has these little berries and they're all going to tie in really nicely for our Christmas decor. To put all the rest of it together, I just played with it. I rearranged it and I took them in and out depending on what I really liked and what I wasn't liking and then at the end when I really decided that I liked where things were I went ahead and I put some hot glue on some of the leaves just to keep them a little bit more secure but really this part is totally customizable and up to you and you get to play with it as much as you want till you like what you see so in total we got two tumbling blocks we got two floral picks we have the floral foam and the vase coming to a grand total of six dollars for this project I hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye!